This video is a follow-on to the first RWR video that I released on patch day. That one covered the basics of the rework as well as the warning lights underneath the older RWRs. You should probably watch that one first if you haven't already. This one is all about the fancy top tier RWRs with fully digital displays that show a unique ID for each contact. These RWRs give the most information but don't always behave how you might expect and there isn't anywhere in the game that explains this stuff, which is why I made this video because as you'll see there are quite a few quirks that you should know about. Before I get into all the symbols, a couple general rules for how these things work. First of all, for each contact, the RWR is going off the radar itself, not the plane or vehicle the radar is attached to. In the files, every RWR has a giant list of radars. If a detected radar is on this list, it will get matched to a name and that name gets shown on your display. However, if a radar is not on the list, that contact will show up on the display as a question mark. The question mark has nothing to do with radar bands as I've seen people incorrectly assume. Quick recap from the first video, if a radar is outside your RWR's band range, the RWR just won't pick it up at all. You won't see a symbol or a question mark or hear a sound or anything. So in War Thunder, there's not much variation between digital RWRs. They're basically all the same. What matters for these ones is just what bands they can detect, with more bands being more better. The ones that can pick up band C through J can pick up band C and D. The only noteworthy radar I can think of here is the Roll-In Search Radar, which is on band D. Also, a couple of them have additional indicator lamps beneath the RWR display. These lamps are just extras, and what you see on the RWR face itself is no different from any other digital RWR. And then the APR-39, which is only found on helicopters, is special because it can pick up bands K all the way up to band M, so it's got some groups for targets that only it can detect. I'll cover those at the end. As far as digital RWRs go, they're all using the same list, so what targets show up under what symbols are the same regardless of what vehicle or nation you're playing, which is good for the sake of gameplay. As you will see, however, some of the interactions are kinda dumb and the list is incomplete in some ways. I do expect it to expand and cover more radars because quite a few are missing. And when I asked Smin, he thinks they're gonna keep refining it. With that being said, fasten your seatbelts and prepare for constant walls of text because I'm going to go through every symbol and what radars it's tied to, as well as a few exceptions I've come across for that symbol that I think are worth bringing up. Let's get started. F3 is for the F3H demon. There's only one demon and nothing shares this radar, so no surprises here. F4 is F4 Phantom 2. This includes the radars for the F4C, the F4E family, and the F4J family. A couple noteworthy exceptions here, because the JOG-10 and JOG-11 radar sets use an APG-59 radar, the T2 and F1 show up as F4 on the RWR. However, the F4EJ Kai famously uses an F16 radar, so it shows up as F16 instead of an F4. And the Kurnas 2000's APG-76 is missing from the list entirely, meaning the Kurnas 2000 will show up as a question mark. F5 is for the F5E, keep in mind the F5A and F5C don't have radars at all. F8 is for the F8 Crusader, and only the F8Es, because the ANAPS-67 is missing from this list. So the F8U2 shows up as a question mark. There's going to be a few more examples like this where radars are left out of their group for seemingly no reason. I don't know if they got left out on purpose, but I do hope they address some of these. F14 is for the F14 Tomcat. F16 is for the F16 Fighting Falcon, which has a huge list that contains even the APG-68 V9, which is just hanging out in the files. Thought that was a fun fact. And like I talked about earlier, the F4EJ Kai uses an F16 radar, so it shows up as an F16. F18, the one that's getting all the attention, this is sort of the poster child example of the rule that the RWR is going off the radar, not the plane the radar is attached to. Obviously the Hornet isn't in the game yet as of October 2023, so when you see F-18 you know with 100% certainty that it's the new Italian AV-8B+, since that's the only thing using this radar right now. But we shouldn't have to wait long to see the actual F-18. 104 is your F-104 family, contains the three major F-104 radars from your 104A all the way up to your 104S ASA and everything in between. However, the Taiwanese F-104G specifically is the only F-104 missing from this group, and it shows up as something else, which I will get to later. M-19 is MiG-19, also includes J-6A, and also includes the LIM-5P since that uses the same radar set as the MiG-19. M-21 is MiG-21, most MiG-21s use the Sapphire-21, so everything's good there, although the MiG-21F-13's SRD-5 radar isn't on the list, so that's a question mark. M23 is MiG-23, contains all the Sapphire-23 radars, no surprises. 
M29 is for the MiG-29 and contains all the radars of all the MiG-29s, but also the N010 used by the Yak-141, and also the Copio 25 radar pod used by the Su-39, which could be used to engage in a minor amount of tomfoolery. HRR is for Harrier. The only Harriers with radars are both Sea Harriers, which use the Blue Fox radar. The rest of the Harriers don't have a radar, except for the AV-8B+, which I mentioned earlier, appears as F-18. TRF, I guess for Tornado Fighter, includes all of the AI-24 radars used by the Interceptor Tornadoes. Both the British and Italian Tornado F-3s use the Stage 2G radar now, but the older radars are still hanging out in the files. TRG, I'm assuming for Tornado Ground or Tornado GR1 or something, includes the ARI-23274 used by all of the Ground Strike Tornadoes. 4050 includes the radars used by the 2N Night Fighter slash Interceptor versions of the Valtour. M3 is for Mirage 3, MF1 is for Mirage F1, and M2K is for Mirage 2000, no surprises there. A32 is for the A32A, but the J32A uses the same radar set, so it also shows up as A32. And then we get to J35 for the Draken. This group only includes the PSO3, which covers the J35A and J35D. But since the PS11 is missing from this group, and the list altogether for that matter, the J35XS shows up as a question mark. Of course, most J35XS players should probably be using their IRST instead of their radar to avoid setting off the RWR in the first place, but it is good to know about. Interestingly, the Taiwanese F-104G does use the PSO3 radar. Not sure if that's historical or not, but it does. And so it does indeed show up on your RWR as a J35. J37 covers all of the Vigans of both the AJ and the JA varieties. The J7 group only contains one radar, the JL7A. This is the radar used by the J7D, so the J7D is the only J7 that shows up as a J7. The J7E's Type 226 radar is not part of this group or any other group, so the J7E will show up as a question mark. Same for the J7 II, which is in the same boat as the MiG-21 F-13, SRD-5 is not on the list. J8 includes the radars of both J8s, so you're covered there, very straightforward, and that rounds out all the planes. Those are all the text you might see in terms of aircraft. If I didn't mention a text and group, that's because it doesn't exist. For example, the Kafir family, not on the list, so all the Kafirs currently show up as question marks. After aircraft, we have MSL for active radar homing missiles. Currently just includes the Phoenix as it's the only active radar homing missile at the moment, but it won't be long until we start to move into the active radar missile era, so I expect MSL for stuff like AMRAAM, R-77, PL-12, and so on. So now I'm going to run through the surface and helicopter threats. Keep in mind when it comes to surface radars, the band tends to matter more than it does for planes because sometimes SPAAs will have bands that are above or below your RWR's band detection range. Anti-air systems often have two radars. If you see TA and TT, that means target acquisition and target tracking and refers to the search and track radar respectively. S-125 is for the Volnia M SAM used by the 5.3 Soviet destroyer Bravi. Currently you won't see this outside of a custom battle. 2S6 is for the Tunguska, 9K3 is for the Tor, S1 is for the Pantsir. Keep in mind the Pantsir's track radar is K-band, which no airplane RWR can pick up. Only certain helis can detect the Pantsir's track radar. PG9 is for the PGZ-09, RLD for the Roland, ADS for the ADATS, ASD for the ASRAD, and then we have a bit of a specimen with the Grotal. This is a classic Gaijinism. The way it's written in the RWR code is confusing and implies that either the search radar or the track radar can show up as either CRL or CRTL, but from what I've seen it usually ends up being CRTL on the display. Regardless, both of them are for the Crotal, so if you see CRL one day and CRTL the next day, don't be surprised, that's why that happens. SNL is for Santal, and AAA is anti-aircraft artillery and has all sorts of fun ground-based radars in its list. I don't play ground and I'm not a knower about ground-based radars, but I'm sure there are all sorts of fun exceptions here. The only ones I can think of are the automatic radar, which is missing from this list, so that's a question mark, and also the M247 Sergeant York, which uses an APG-66 for its tracking radar. The APG-66 is of course an F-16 radar, so for the M247 you will see AAA for the search radar, and if he locks you up with the track radar you'll see F-16 on your RWR. NVL is naval and is just an enormous list of ship-mounted radars. Again, like the S-125, you probably won't see these outside of a custom battle unless Gaijin starts adding ships to ARB as AI targets. 
and these last few are all K-band. Again, there's no fixed-wing aircraft RWR that can detect K-band, but the APR-39 found on most American helis can, so for the sake of being thorough, I threw these in. A-64 is Apache, that's for the longbow radar that the AH-64D has. K-52 is for the arbalet radar on the K-52. M28 is for the N025 radar on the Mi-28NM, and finally 9P7 is for the 1L32 radar carried by the Chrysanthema. Alright, that is it. That is every text you can possibly see on your RWR, and every group of radars each text is tied to. I hope you learned something from this video and got something out of it. Again, I do expect things to change here and for them to fill out the list a bit more so we get fewer question marks. None of this stuff is explained in the game itself anywhere, and this video took a huge amount of time and research to put together, so if you appreciate that kind of effort, please consider leaving a like, it helps me know that making these videos is worth it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments, I'll try my best to answer them, come hang out on Discord, and thanks for watching.